Okay, so now we're going uh, to talk about the induction principle. I mean, it's a basic principle defining the natural numbers, that you can prove things by induction, right? That's what kind of, uh, is kind of the heart of the natural numbers. Um, and so the induction principle, the way you're gonna state it is, uh, if you have a set A, a subset of the natural numbers, and essentially think of a property, think of um, you have a property that you want to show about the natural numbers, and A is the set of all the things that satisfy this property, right? So you want to show that all natural numbers have a set of property, that's the set A, so let's, let's write that down. So A is the set of all the n in omega such that uh, n satisfies some given property that you have. Uh, and then we the, the induction principle says that if A is inductive, then A is everything. Let's recall what it means to be inductive. That's right um, here. Uh, so a set is inductive if it contains an uh, empty set, which is the same as zero, and it's closed under successor. Successor is a function that goes from A to A plus, which in the natural numbers, that's the same as A plus one. Right, so being inductive, uh, this up here can be stated as zero belongs to A, and if M belongs to A, then um, M plus one belongs to A. That's what it means to be inductive, and what we're proving is that for every N, M belongs to A. Right, so that's induction. If uh, 0 satisfies the property, and whenever you know that n satisfies the property, you can prove n plus 1 satisfies the property, then from those two things, you deduce that this property is true for everybody. So that's exactly the um, induction principle that you guys are used to from my uh, previous courses, I hope. Um, and uh, how can we prove it? We need to prove it here. We need to prove it from our axioms. But there is nothing to prove. I mean, omega is defined to be, let's go back, Omega is the intersection of all inductive sets. So that means that it has no inductive sets inside because you know, it's intersection. It's the smallest. It's the smallest of all inductive sets. So if you are including Omega and you're inductive, then you have to be Omega. Omega is the only thing, uh, the only subset of itself that is inductive because it's the smallest. Um, so this is just follows trivially. Essentially, uh, the definition of omega is omega is a set that satisfies induction. That's essentially the definition because it's the smallest inductive set, so it's the smallest, one, the only one that satisfies this property. So it's defined to satisfy induction. So let's see an example. Let's see here a nice um, simple. I don't know if nice simple example. Um, to prove to use induction. Every natural number except for zero is a successor of somebody. Okay? So that's what we want to show. So every uh, zero is not the successor of anybody, but I want to show that all the other ones are the successor of somebody. So that's gonna allow us to kind of subtract one. If you're not zero, you can subtract one and you will get a number. Okay? So how do we uh, prove this? by induction, and we want to uh, use induction, so we need to define this at A, what is the property that we want, being the property is either you're zero or you are a successor, so let A be the set of all the things that belong to omega, such that uh, either N equals zero or N is a successor, uh, there exists an x such that x plus equals n. Okay, so it's a subset of the natural numbers, and now we we want to prove we claim that a is inductive. Uh, because if we know if we prove it's inductive, then by the induction principle, it has to be everything. So that means everything satisfies this property. So this proof has uh, two parts. 
I guess, part, first part, uh, 0 belongs to A, well, as part of the definition of A, 0 belongs to A. Part 2, the induction step, so suppose uh, N belongs to A, and now I want to show that uh, m plus 1 belongs to A but uh, m plus 1 or m plus uh, is of this form right the previous element a uh, so m plus 1 is m plus so it's a successor so m plus 1 belongs to A so A is inductive, so A is everything. So that means everything in omega is either zero or is a successor. Okay, so that's a very simple proof of how you prove something by induction, but essentially that's the way uh, you do it. You define the set A of all the things that satisfy the property, and then you prove two things, one that zero belongs to it, and then that if something belongs to it, then the successor also belongs to it. Um, okay, here is an important question, um, which is going to motivate to our next video. Uh, is it true that whenever you have that A plus equals B plus, then A equals B? So is the successor function um, one to one? Different, different, different things cannot go to the same thing. And notice one thing, we didn't prove this, and if it's not, then uh, when I say that uh, inductive sets need to be infinite, I was kind of uh, assuming this, right? You could have an inductive set, you could have, it's not going to happen, but let's start with zero, and then you, do, you apply plus, and you get to one, and you apply plus, and you get to two, and you keep on applying plus, and plus, and then plus, 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 plus. And then maybe you go back to the same thing. Maybe after, I don't know, two to the one million steps, you go back to something. Uh, if you don't, I mean, the only way to know that's not true is to know that every time you apply plus, you get to a new element that is not applied before. Right, so you need to know that different things, yeah, you cannot go to the plus of a previous element. So if, uh, so for that, is if, if you know that uh, this plus operation is one to one, then you can never go back, right? Because every, because this one, this guy will be the image of two things. You can never go back to zero because zero is definitely not the plus of anything. Uh, and if it's in, if it's one to one, you can never go back. So that that's what what implies that inductive sets are infinite. The fact that this is one-to-one. -one. And if you think about it, well, think about it. 